Nintendo no Aonuma. My name is A.G. Aonuma. Uh, I work with Nintendo. I started working on the Zelda series as director with Ocarina of Time and followed the series as director through Twilight Princess. And with the most recent uh, project, uh, Phantom Hourglass, I worked as producer. With the DS Zelda, I, I kind of feel as though it is like the updated version of the original Zelda. It wasn't a conscious decision, but in an effort to go get kind of back to basics, um, I was able to kind of reconnect with that essence of Zelda that made it fun for people when it first came out. This is uh, the sequel to Wind Waker. It takes place about three months after the uh, Wind Waker ends. Tetra, Link, and her band of pirates set sail to explore new lands. Um, and in their exploration, they come across this mysterious ghost ship. Um, Tetra promptly, being the adventurous gal that she is, um, jumps on board the ghost ship and you hear her scream. And Link tries to save her, um, but in his efforts, he just ends up falling into the sea. Um, he's awakened on a mysterious island by a fairy and sets off on his adventure to find Tetra. Uh, personally, I'm very fond of the Wind Waker story and I always wanted to know where or where, where Link and, and Tetra ended up going and, and what lands they explored. So that personally was something that I always wanted to discover. Um, when we went, when we were starting work on the DS Zelda, uh, it's not as though we knew we were going to create the sequel to Wind Waker, but as we developed the game and, and gameplay kind of was finalized, um, we discovered that Wind Waker 2 was what we were working on. Initially, when we started showing commercials on TV, we advertised it as the touch pen only, the stylus only Zelda. And I think that worked in, in making people curious, wanting them, making them want to actually play it. Um, and it's we've received comments from both core users and new users that uh, through this stylus control, uh, we were able to create a new Zelda, um, one that kind of levels the playing field. Um, and through word of mouth the message is getting out there and, and I'm very happy with with the results we're getting US players have been requesting a Zelda game that you can play over Wi-Fi for a long time this however is not a fighting game. Um, it's more of a strategy game. The gameplay is actually fairly simple. Uh, players take turns being on offense or defense, and on offense uh, you play as Link and you collect force gems um, and then return them to your base. And then on defense um, you control three phantoms and you try to stop Link. The gameplay is only possible through the stylus, um, and though it might seem simple, it's uh, to me, it feels similar to a chess game, but with more action. With this latest version of Zelda, uh, the one that's on the DS, a handheld system, um, I was able to discover many new things uh, about the series and what it can potentially do. Because the DS version of Zelda is not on the big screen, it's on a smaller screen and the interface is completely different, um, it opened my eyes to various possibilities. And I know that I made a version uh, for the Wii, but there's still so much potential with that piece of hardware as well. So uh, while there is an essence of Zelda that I need to stay true to, I'm really looking forward to exploring the Zelda universe um, on both the Wii and the DS. As a creator, um, there are various things that I would like to create. There are various visions I would like to realize. Um, but I'm very lucky uh, because I feel as though in, in the Zelda games that I've worked on, I've been able to do that. Uh, my personality really fits the Zelda series well. Uh, so I feel very fortunate. Um, but as I get older, the feeling that I would like to create something that's my original gets stronger. Uh, that could be more of a personal thing than an actual work thing. Related thing. <laughs>